Hey everyone, did you know there are well over half a million different bridges in the world? Many of them are made of concrete and steel, and people can safely drive, walk, or bike across them every day. But some bridges in remote regions of the planet are instead built with weak vines, decaying wood, and unsafe material. Some are so dangerous, not even Indiana Jones would feel safe crossing. So, join me for today's video where we count down the top 15 most dangerous bridges that you should definitely not cross. Let's begin. Number 15. Husaini Hanging Bridge Known as the most dangerous bridge in the world, the Husaini Hanging Bridge is one of many precarious rope bridges in northern Pakistan. The people living in the Gilgit-Baltistan region of northern Pakistan were cut off from the rest of Pakistan in 1978 due to the mountainous terrain and lack of roads. You could take a small airplane, but that was reserved only for the richest of citizens. Needless to say, it was a tough break and overall unfair situation for the locals. But they still needed to cross the region, and so the only way to travel was by walking across mountain passes to Rawalpindi. In 1978, the Karakoram Highway was completed, and the region was connected, but inter-region travel remained as difficult as it was a hundred years ago. Regular aspects of travel through this region include the rickety cable and plank bridges that cross northern Pakistan's mountainous streams and rivers. Among these is the Husaini Hanging Bridge, crossing Borat Lake in the upper Hunza. This rope bridge is both long and poorly maintained. Many planks are missing, and strong winds shake the bridge as you cross it. As of now, there's only one suspension bridge connecting the Husaini village with Zarabad, and crossing is one of the scariest things anyone can do, because one false step and you're quite literally going down. Number 14. The Living Root Bridges of Meghalaya These next bridges on our list are as gorgeous as they are perilous. A living root bridge is a type of simple suspension bridge formed of living plant roots by tree shaping. They are common in the southern part of the northeast Indian state of Meghalaya. They are handmade from the aerial roots of rubber fig trees by the indigenous groups of the mountainous terrain along the southern part of the Shilong Plateau. Most of the bridges grow on the steep slopes of subtropical moist breadloaf forests between 160 and 3700 feet above sea level. As long as the tree from which it's formed remained healthy, the roots of the bridge can naturally grow thick and strengthen. New roots can grow throughout the tree's life and must be pruned or manipulated to strengthen the bridge. Once mature, some bridges can have as many as 50 or more people crossing and have a lifespan of several hundred years. But without proper active care, many bridges have decayed or grown wild, becoming unusable, and you wouldn't know until you try to cross it. At over 165 feet in length, the longest known example of a living root bridge is in a small town in India, which can either be accessed from the village of Morkirwat or Rangthilong. Number 13. Hanging Bridge of Gaza Leading to the village of the same name, the Hanging Bridge of Gaza is located in Nepal. This harrowing bridge is one of the key ways to bring not just people but pack animals and cattle to and fro, as these beasts of burden provided a livelihood for most of the locals. The bridge was originally built because before its existence, herders and travelers were forced to use the razor-thin roads that hugged the mountains, often clogging them and moving around someone coming from the other direction was near impossible. And if it weren't for cattle, then forget about it. This dangerously narrow bridge is laid at a great height. Moreover, it's quite narrow and extremely unstable to wind gusts happening regularly in this area. Passing through the bridge has become a familiar event for locals, but not all travelers are courageous enough when they get up close and personal, and who could blame them? But despite the fact that the bridge looks quite fragile and badly shaken, it's very reliable and most importantly, it's equipped with high railings. Some shepherds put blinders on animals to make them behave quietly on the bridge. Now if they could only put blinders over the humans, we'd be fine. Number 12. The Trift Bridge the Trift Bridge is a pedestrian-only suspension bridge in the Swiss Alps. This bridge is quite simple, spanning a stunning 560 feet across with a 330-foot drop. The Swiss Alps are no doubt gorgeous in their own right, but this Trift Bridge may be more trouble than it's worth. It spans the Lake Triftsee near Gamden in Switzerland, an area that receives approximately 20,000 visitors per year to see the Trift Glacier. An earlier bridge was built in 2004, as the glacier was no longer high enough to take visitors to the Trift Hut or the Swiss Alpine Club, and a replacement bridge was opened in June of 2009. But this new bridge is one of the tallest and longest in the entire region, so despite the fear-inducing height, plenty of thrill-seekers flock to slowly make their way across year after year. 
But the old bridge stands today in the canton of Uri with the name Saltbitbrucke. And getting to the Trift Bridge is almost as hard as it is to cross it, though, as it requires taking a cable car in Meringen, followed by a gondola. Finally, a difficult one and a half hour uphill hike leads to the bridge, and by the end, you better at hope that your legs haven't turned to jelly. Number 11. Yubin Bridge Yubin Bridge is a crossing that spans the Taung Taman Lake near Amanpura in Myanmar. It's just under a mile long. This skinny little bridge was built around 1850, and it's believed to be the oldest teak wood bridge in the world, and there was even a time when it was the only one of its kind. Construction began when the capital of Ava Kingdom moved to Amarapura, and the bridge is named after Mong Bin, who had it built. It's used as an important passageway for the local people, and has also become a tourist attraction, and therefore a significant source of income for souvenir sellers. The Ubin Bridge is particularly busy during July and August when the lake is at its highest. It was built from wood, reclaimed from the former royal palace in Inwa, and it features 1,086 pillars that stretch out of the water, some of which have been replaced with concrete. Though the bridge largely remains intact, there are fears that an increasing number of the pillars are becoming dangerously decayed. Some have become entirely detached from their bases and only remain in place because of the lateral bars holding them together. Damage to these supports has been caused by flooding as well as a fish breeding program introduced into the lake, which has caused the water to become stagnant. Number 10. Monkey Bridges of Vietnam A Cao Ki, or Monkey Bridge, in Vietnam is an incredible yet simple handmade bamboo wooden passageway across a stream or gully. The Monkey Bridge, as a uniquely Vietnamese traditional symbol, was the inspiration for the title of American author Lang Cao's novel Monkey Bridge. But get a little closer, and you'll see just how precarious these bridges really are, with or without handrails. They are very difficult and dangerous for those who are not accustomed to them. And while you may not be falling to your death if you go over the proverbial rails, no one wants to fall into the water below, as the risk of injury is always there. This one I think is best left to the locals. The best bridge crossers have been known to carry on their shoulder 40 to 100 pounds worth of stuff while on the bridge. But some locals like to prove themselves a little more than others, which has given rise to these monkey bridge crossing competitions. Many videos of these events are scattered on the internet, but most of the competitions involve crossing the thin bridge with a bicycle. It's not easy to do. Number 9. Kakum Canopy Walk The spectacular Kakum National Park is located off the west coast of southern Ghana in West Africa. The nature preserve sees thousands of visitors every year, and while the trees and wildlife are truly something to behold, it's the canopy walk that really gets travelers going. Kakum Canopy Walk allows hikers to experience a portion of the jungles usually reserved for climbers and flyers thanks to a trail of precariously hung suspension bridges, giving them a bird's-eye view of the scenery. Moving through the thick tropical jungle of Kakum National Park, the canopy walk was actually designed by a pair of Canadian engineers and five Ghanaians. Looking to increase tourism, specifically eco-tourism, in the largely ignored national park, the designers wanted to create a unique feature that would make the park a destination. Thus, an elevated trail through the canopy was devised. Opening on Earth Day in 1995, the canopy walkway consists of seven separate bridges that hang from the trees over 130 feet above the ground. Across over a thousand feet of walkway, the bridges look as though they're constructed like traditional rope bridges made from the materials of the forest. However, the sturdy spans are made of wire rope, aluminum, and wooden planks, and even have safety netting to keep people from plummeting off the side. So while it looks incredibly scary, it's still pretty safe. Just try not to shake it. Number 8. Langkawi Sky Bridge Heading over to Malaysia for the next entry on our list, we have the Langkawi Sky Bridge. This 410-foot-long curved pedestrian cable-stayed bridge in Malaysia was built in 2005. The bridge deck is an incredible 2,170 feet above sea level at the peak of Gunung Machinkang or Palau Langkawi, the main island of the Langkawi archipelago in Kedah. But to get to the Langkawi Sky Bridge, you first need to hop on the Langkawi cable car to the top station, where an inclined lift called Sky Glide takes visitors from the top station down to the bridge. The bridge was closed in July 2012 for maintenance and upgrading. The curved section of the bridge is suspended by four pairs of front-stayed cables connected to an outrigger hanging points located at the ends of the three curved 83-foot sections in a semi-fan array from the top of a 275-foot-high single pylon. 
The curved bridge deck hangs with its center of gravity directly below its point of suspension at the pylon head, and with the top deck at an elevation of 2,165 feet above sea level. The pylon is anchored onto a concrete pad set at an elevation of just under 2,000 feet, and its tip reaches 2,250 feet above sea level. It's tilted from the vertical in two planes and stabilized by two main backstay cables and anchored into opposite hillsides. The two ends of the curved bridge deck are connected by two triangular viewing platforms on opposite hilltops. In total, the bridge is designed to carry up to 250 people at a time. Just remember, don't look down. Number 7. Puente de Ojuela Built in 1898, the Puente de Ojuela, situated in Mexico, is considered one of the most dangerous and mysterious places on the planet. The bridge was built over a deep canyon in 1898. It served as the shortest transition from the town to the Ojuela mines, where precious metals and other minerals were mined. The first draft of the bridge project was developed by the sons of world-famous engineer John Roebling. The most famous of his creations was the Brooklyn Bridge. It's tough to imagine that someone who built something so iconic also built something so scary. After its completion, it was one of the longest suspension bridges in the world for years, and despite the death-defying appearance, the bridge was built with high steadiness in mind. The developers used steel cables to strengthen its construction, which was a major innovation at the time. In the early days, the bridge was actively used by miners, and when gold and silver mines were exhausted, the bridge fell into neglect. Jagged cliffs located around this bridge add some thrill, so an adrenaline rush during a walk across the bridge is guaranteed. Today, this large construction, whose length is more than 275 meters, is one of the prominent tourist attractions. This place attracts many photographers because of the great views over the canyon. Number 6. Muso Tsuribashi Bridge Japan's vine bridges are some of the most famous in the world. They are as unique as they are scary, and sometimes a little bit dangerous to cross. But sometimes there is beauty in that danger, and such is the case with Japan's Muso Tsuribashi Bridge. While it may make sense to make a bridge out of something like steel, concrete, or even wood, this bridge is almost completely made out of vines. Built in the 1950s, this suspension bridge has earned the title of the scariest suspension bridge in all of Japan, probably because throughout the years it hasn't been properly maintained. To make matters even scarier, it's located in a remote area of the southern Japanese Alps named Muso Surabashi. If anything were to happen, there might not be a lot of people around to help. This bridge's name literally means matchless suspension bridge, and with thin wires and sketchy wooden planks, there's really no other bridge that looks more frightening than this thing. The climb to the bridge isn't that safe either. It requires metal chains to support you as you ascend. It's the type of bridge that makes you say, why? Number 5. Royal Gorge Bridge The Royal Gorge Bridge is a famous tourist attraction in Colorado, with the Royal Gorge Bridge and Park, a 360-acre amusement park located along the perilous edge of the Royal Gorge around both ends of the bridge. The bridge crosses the gorge at 955 feet above the Arkansas River and held the record of the highest bridge in the world from 1929 until 2001, when it was surpassed by the Linghuahe Bridge in China. And this Royal Gorge Bridge maintained that title of the world's highest suspension bridge until the Beipan River Guanching Highway Bridge was completed, also in China. But the bridge remains the highest bridge in the United States and was among the 10 highest bridges in the world until 2012. The main span of the bridge between the two towers is an incredible 880 feet, with a total length of 1,260 feet. The width is 18 feet, and finally, the towers are 150 feet high. The steel base structure is covered with 1,292 wooden planks. The bridge is pretty stellar, but it's also incredibly scary to cross, so you better not look down. The Royal Gorge Bridge was built in just six months, in 1929, and cost $350,000, which may not seem like much by 2020 standards, but it's the equivalent to about $4.2 million today. In 1931, the Incline Railway was added beside the bridge to reach the bottom of the gorge, and in the 1950s, a miniature railroad was built by the edge of the gorge, and an aerial tram was opened in 1969. But to add extra flair of fear and danger, a sky coaster was added in 2003, with riders being swung out over the edge of the gorge. Number 4. Ishima Ohashi Bridge The next entry on our list feels more like a roller coaster than it does a bridge. Located in the Chugoku region of Honshu, in the western part of Japan, the Eshima Ohashi Bridge connects Saikiminato and Yatsukacho Eshima, spanning a mile across Lake Nakaumi. 
It was built to allow the passage of large cargo ships towards the open sea, but the big claim to fame here is the fact that the bridge has an insanely steep and terrifying slope that's tall enough to let ships pass underneath it with ease. It's a stretch of road that's freaked out even the most confident drivers, as it looks like an insane roller coaster from inside your car. Cars gradually ascend, making it less scary for drivers than the bridge appears when photos are taken from a straight-on angle. It's been nicknamed the Roller Coaster Bridge because of its super steep slope and appearance of being a bridge to the sky. If you look straight onto the bridge, the ridiculously steep incline makes it look more like a roller coaster than a road. And this bridge is a two-lane concrete road. The concrete road spans a mile and sends drivers straight into the sky, and then suddenly drops off. It's pretty steep, with a gradient of 5.1% on the Totori Prefecture side, and 6.1% on the Shimane Prefecture side. It is said to be the steepest bridge in the world. Number 3. Vitim River Bridge Located in Siberia, the Vitim River Bridge is one of the most dangerous bridges in the world. It's an old train bridge crossing the Vitim River which leaves drivers precariously navigating a tiny six-foot wide path. Its old metal structure is covered with rotting wooden planks which can be slippery due to the frequent ice in the area. The Vitim River is a major tributary of the Lena River. This bridge is a mere six feet wide and teeters precariously over the river. It's like a really old structure without railings, truly narrow even for a standard car. To cross the bridge in the Transbaikal region, drivers must navigate a tiny six foot wide path with no railing or safety features to save them from toppling into the frozen water below. To make matters worse, the old metal structure is covered with wooden planks, which can be slippery due to the frequent snow and ice. It was built for use by trains, which explains the lack of any safety barriers, which certainly isn't helping any driver. During the Siberian winter, the bridge becomes even more challenging as the wood turns into an ice slick that provides no traction. The old railway bridge is 1,870 feet long and only 50 feet above the water. It's barely wide enough for one car, and it's iced over for much of that year. Yeah, no thanks. Number 2. Peak Walk the Peak Walk is a pedestrian suspension bridge linking two mountain peaks in the Swiss Alps. It's situated on a massif of the Bernese Alps in the canton of Vaud and connects one mountain peak with another. On the other peak is the viewpoint of the Glacier 3000 Company. Sex Rouge is about 5 meters higher than the Glacier 3000's viewpoint. Peak Walk is the world's first suspension bridge that connects two mountain peaks. It opened in 2014. It's 351 feet long and just two and a half feet wide, and about four feet high with a 15% slope. It's got four pieces of key supporting steel cables with a 120 ton loading capacity. These bridges are anchored right into the rock. It's expected that the current number of summertime visitors are around 50,000, and it will double as a result of the new bridge. Designers took the extreme conditions into account, with winds of about 120 miles an hour. Mountains that can be seen from the bridge include Mont Blanc, the Alps' highest point, the Matterhorn, Mont Jungfrau, and Eiger. And the bridge also has a partial glass floor that offers a stunning, yet vertigo-inducing, straight-down view. In addition, the bridge also became the world's second-highest suspension bridge after the Titlis Cliff Walk, which is 9,800 feet above sea level. Just be careful though, because the air tends to get pretty thin at those altitudes, and the weather can become pretty treacherous as well. Number 1. Zhangjiajie Glass Bridge Anyone crossing a high bridge can fight their fear of heights by simply abstaining from heading over to the edge and looking down. It's as simple as that, but if they're crossing the Zhangjiajie Glass Bridge, then they may be out of luck. This glass bridge is a harrowing skywalk in Hunan above the Wulingyong area. This bridge is built as an attraction for tourists. It's glass-bottomed and is completely transparent, reminding people of exactly what awaits them below should things go south. When it opened in 2016, it was both the longest and tallest glass-bottom bridge in the world, measuring 1,410 feet long and 20 feet wide, and is suspended about 980 feet up above the ground. The bridge spans the canyon between two mountain cliffs in a national forest park in the northwest of the Hunan province, and it's designed to carry up to 800 visitors at a time. But how does one even go about building something this crazy? Well, the bridge is made of a steel frame with more than 120 glass panels. Each of the panels is three-layered and is a two-inch slab of tempered glass. But to make matters worse for those with acrophobia or fear of heights, there are three long swings attached to the underside of the bridge. There's also a provision for making a 935-foot bungee jump too, which is considered to be the highest bungee jump in the world. 
enjoy it, because I'm out. We'll see you next time. Watch our scary playlist for more top 15 videos about the most scary subjects. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best videos.